It's the first week of November, which means three more years until the next presidential election. The year 2008 was a historic election as Barack Obama became the first African American to be elected president. However, will 2016 also be a historic election? This year, Emily's List released a poll showing that majority of Americans are ready for a woman president. So I asked several students at UIW how they felt about having a female American leader running this country. I believe America, I would hope that America would be basing their votes and opinions on the quality of the person and looking more at the person, what they have to offer rather than something as gender. I feel like, you know, it's a position thrown up for grabs, so whoever goes in there and and earns it and deserves it is the person who should get it. So if it's a woman, then well be it. If it's not, then so, so be it. Female as leaders have, from my experience, have been phenomenal in the sense that they have, have proven to give results, to be able to lead. And I, I think it would be great for the country and in a, in a country that promotes land of opportunity. What better exemplifies that than a, a woman president? I think it's a wonderful time for a woman to be president of the United States. As long as she has the qualifications and can do the job, then I don't think there should be any say in what the president's gender actually is. And here's something of interest. The year 2020 will mark 100 years since women gained the right to vote. 2020 also happens to be another presidential election year. With that being said, would America more likely see a woman president by that time? Again, I think it would be great if that does happen. Again, it would just make it more official that um, the progress of what women have come through and this would be a type of status or a symbol saying, hey, we made it, we have been successful, and that we have overcome some obstacles. I feel like the American and the American race is, we don't have so many so much pre prejudice against women as like they used to. I don't I don't feel as though we judge them just based upon being women now as as they would have back in the day where they, it would have been just completely an outrage. So I mean anything could happen. I think it'll be coincidental that by 2020 that this 100 years later from uh, women's suffrage that it just so happens to be the year that a woman becomes president that year. So if it hasn't happened in 2016, it'll happen by 2020. I think if we have four more years of what we've had for the last 20 years or so, by the year 2020, if we don't have our first woman president at that time, we will definitely see a woman president in 2020, if we don't see them in 2016. Reporting for UIW-TV News, I am Isaac Stain. For more of our work, go to www.uiwtv.org.